Most of you look so young. You've aged hardly at all since we last saw you. Uh, this is about to... Uh, in July, it will be 10 years since we released our album, The Con. Yesterday, and also like a thousand years ago, uh, we've been working on something special uh, to celebrate it, and we've been looking back through a lot of uh, photographs and just shit that we did around that time. And it was such a different time because we didn't have. I think the only thing we really had back then was MySpace. A lot of the stuff that happened around the con is sort of like, it's like deep web now. It's like you don't even know. And one of the things that I learned from going back through the archive is that my haircut uh, was very complicated. And it was a complicated haircut because uh, it looked fine at the beginning of the record cycle, which started in about at the end of January. But by the time the spring came, which was when we wrapped the album cycle, uh, my hair looked like shit, and... No, I think it looked cool. Uh, it did! It looked, it, looked, uh, it looked like I'd fallen down a well, and then someone had rescued me. But anyways, I was thinking about how things have changed, and uh, one of the things that, that has been so touching, I guess, about looking back at that era is that, um, for me, it was, a, it was a profoundly depressing time, and when people would, when people still to this day would say, like, that's my favorite record, I would always get this sort of weird, like, knot in my stomach, because I was like, I think it might be my least favorite sometimes, just because it was such a sad time. But the one thing that's been so beautiful about revisiting some of the music and some of the photos and some of the weird video footage that we took in our basement while we were recording the record, uh, it's made me feel like maybe a little bit of what you feel um, about these songs. It sort of makes me realize that we were, we were really... Um, emotional and very vulnerable and our hair was bad and we we were just laying it all on the line and sometimes it's really ugly and uh anyways i um i think because of the like the love that our fans have for the record we decided we really wanted to do something very special for this 10 year anniversary and we wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for you guys always telling us how much it meant to you so thanks so much for To you, and now we're going to play a couple of songs from that record. And also, bring out the barber. Tegan's going to get a mullet right on stage live. Right now. She actually can't because she has a reverse mullet right now. Which is long on top, short on the bottom instead of long on the bottom, short on top. She can't physically actually get a mullet right now. Otherwise, she would for you guys. Thank you so much for the offer, man. All right, here we go. Sing along if you want. I mean, if you're shy, don't feel pressured. But if you want to, sing along. I was sitting with some tea of this shit and all this. I thought I'd have to push you back before you had a chance to look at the bottom line. And you leave that so scary notice. All the feeling of you leaving Oh my God, I'm calling you sick I'm capsulizing on the edge of the sea Oh my God, I'm calling you sick I'm all now coming around Coming around Nobody likes to Oh, I really like to cry Nobody likes to Baby, 
Thank you.